This meditation will start at 2 minutes and 5 seconds after a brief explanation. Today I'm going to guide you through a meditation to gently um, invigorate and revitalize the chakras and the associated endocrine glands. So each of the chakras feed directly into an endocrine gland. So this is a really powerful way to really enhance the vitality of these seven endocrine glands. So the first chakra is related to the adrenals. The second chakra is related to the gonads, which are the ovaries and the testes. The third chakra at the solar plexus feeds into the spleen and pancreas. The fourth chakra at the heart feeds into the thymus gland, which is right at the back of the bottom of the sternum. The fifth chakra in the throat feeds into the thyroid. The sixth chakra at the third eye feeds into the pineal gland, and the seventh chakra feeds into the pituitary gland. So I invite you to place your hand in front of the chakra and endocrine glands that we're working on as we slowly move up through the body. This will turn on your psychometry. Psychometry is receiving sensations of energy into your hands. When I first did this, it really activated my psychometry as well as the sensation that I was feeling in each of my chakras. And it gave me a completely new respect for a new relationship with my chakras. So I invite you to play around with that and just visualize sensing the energy sort of back and forth between the chakra and endocrine gland and out to your hands and just see what you feel and see what might turn on for you. So I invite you to take a deep breath in, calling all of your energy back onto yourself in present time. Ground your energy down deep into the earth, sending your tree roots deep down to the earth's core. And gently sense into the heartbeat of Gaia, her slow, steady pulse. See if you can invite your energy to match her slow pulse. Inviting your nervous system to slow down to calm and be soothed. Then invite earth energy up through your grounding cord, up into your feet, your legs, up into your pelvic bowl and your first chakra. Infuse this part of your body with gentle, slow, cleansing, nourishing earth energy. And then just exhale it back down to the center of the earth and as you release it, earth energy will gently cleanse out any clutter, anyone else's energy that's in your space, any discordant energy right out of your body. It will just drain it right down your grounding cord to Mother Earth. Breathe another wave of earth energy back up into your first chakra. Letting it infuse into this space, magnetically attracting any lower vibration energy or any energy that doesn't match the high vibration of your spirit. And exhale it back down, releasing it down your grounding cord, down to Mother Earth. Let this gentle influx and outflow of Earth energy continue. It will continue to cleanse out your first chakra and your grounding cord, really clarifying your connection to Mother Earth. And we'll draw your awareness to up above and invite you to tap into your life force energy, which is the essence of your spirit. Draw that down from above through the crown of your head, the back of your skull, your occiput, down your neck, across the tops of your shoulders, down the sides of your spine, into your sacrum, and forward into your pelvic bowl. Here, earth and life force energy will mix to create a beautiful healing blend of energy we can use to cleanse out each chakra and endocrine gland and infuse with your life force energy really amplifying the strength and vitality of each of these endocrine glands and chakras so let's thread into this mix of earth and life force energy some universal healing energy of pearlescent gold 
Truly increase the healing frequency of this ball of energy. Let's place your hands in front of your first chakra deep down within your pelvic bowl and gently flow your healing blend of energy forward through the first chakra out into the first layer of your aura and then invite it gently to pulse back up to your adrenal glands which are in sort of the middle of your lower back and just gently invite this energy to flow back and forth between your adrenal glands giving them a gentle squeeze and back to your first chakra however this looks for you is fine you don't have to overthink it this is interesting because the adrenal glands are a little bit above the first chakra but we're just intending to cleanse clear heal and upgrade the first chakra and the adrenal glands releasing what doesn't serve you infusing your spirit essence into your first chakra and your adrenal glands and moving up to your second chakra which is just below your belly button this chakra feeds into your gonads ovaries or testes so bring your hands in front of the second chakra and gently invite your flow of energy forward through the second chakra and back into the gonads just gently pulsing your energy through the chakra and into the gonads Draw your hands up to in front of the third chakra at your solar plexus. The endocrine gland associated with the solar plexus is two, the spleen and the pancreas governing digestion. Let's gently invite your blend of energy to flow through the third chakra and into the spleen and pancreas, which sit right underneath your rib cage on the left side of your body. Gently pulse your healing blend of energy through the third chakra and into the spleen and pancreas. Gently cleansing and revitalizing these tissues. And then up to the fourth chakra in your heart. The endocrine gland associated with the heart is the thymus gland which sits very close to the heart on the back side of the sternum at the bottom of the sternum so gently flow your healing blend of energy through the fourth chakra and into the thymus gland visualizing this bright golden energy infusing into gently pulsing gently squeezing revitalizing the thymus gland and cleansing you out and infusing the fourth chakra with your life force energy. Up to the fifth chakra in your throat. The endocrine gland here is the thyroid gland, which sort of wraps around the front part of the throat sitting just below the Adam's apple. And this governs many bodily functions, including metabolism, uh, the cardiovascular system, temperature regulation. It's a very important gland. So gently cleanse, clear, and heal the fifth chakra and the thyroid gland, gently pulsing this healing blend of energy into it, revitalizing and amplifying its function, cleansing out the fifth chakra, Inviting more flow, gentleness, and ease of energy flowing through this space. And up to the sixth chakra at your third eye, right between your eyebrows, the endocrine gland associated with the sixth chakra is the pineal gland. This is a small gland that sits in the center of your head, behind your third eye, between your ears. And it governs diurnal rhythms, so day-night patterns. It regulates sleep. So 
So gently pulse your energy through the sixth chakra and then back and forth between the third eye and the pineal gland in the center of the head. You might really be able to sense this pineal gland pulsing in the center of your head. into the sixth layer of your aura, cleansing out any clutter, infusing this space with your life force energy. Then finally up to the seventh chakra, which is at the crown of your head, and the seventh chakra ties into the pituitary gland, which is the master endocrine gland governing the entire endocrine system. This gland is a little bit bigger than the pineal gland and it sits just in front of the ears, sort of behind the temples, almost at hairline. So straight behind the third eye, between the temples. Gently pulse your healing blend of energy through the seventh chakra, out into the seventh layer of your aura, and back into the pituitary gland. Gently cleansing, clearing, healing, and upgrading the pituitary gland and the seventh chakra. energy for as long as you wish, just inviting your body to marinate in this healing blend of energy that you have created, and to close, just ground your energy, really sensing into Mother Earth, dropping your energy down into the Earth's core, really settling 